hi welcome back to my channel DB doctor in this session I am covering up database related locking blocking and deadlocking which is very very important in performance tuning so if you are a, a database administrator or developer you should aware of a blocking deadlock without that you it is very critical to handle a database tuning as well as a database uh, uh, slowness and to identify why the database is slow and all so at least you should aware of uh, blocking and deadlocking a little bit so that you can able to give them uh, as a, uh, you can share the log to the database administrators so today's session i am going to cover up end to end database locking and deadlocking deadlocking when happen uh, when a uh, two session when two session is uh, interconnecting and uh, taking the resource of a uh, uh, dependent session then the database locking is happen we will see one by one so locking is we have uh, different kind of locking and database locking S sql server is introduced and the purpose of locking is to give you a database accurate record and the data should not be uh, in incorrect and inaccurate and data should be a uh, concurrent and it should pass the acid property so while passing acid property your data should be a uh, correct and that in database while you retrieving any record should not be a duplicate and user can able to connect and able to you know retrieve a accurate record accurate record that is the purpose of locking so we have a different type of locking in sql server we will see one by one we have a shared log shared log is a log when um, when uh, the session is allowing other session to read the sh shared log the purpose of shared log is uh, i am uh, keeping this log because I am just uh, taking some um, uh, report some only I am taking some selected uh, selected statement if I fire then the shared log is applied and shared log is applying and it is allowing other resource to take the session okay and uh, we have an exclusive log exclusive log is uh, preventing from modification let's say if I am doing some modification uh, from one session if other session is trying to modify again or if uh, the other session is taking some report on same particular table let's say if i am changing the rate rate of uh, some product from uh, 5 rupees to 4 rupees uh, and that uh, that is in in pending state it is not applied and if the report if any user is uh, returning a report or doing any modification at the same moment then whether the record will be accurate or not that is the reason uh, uh, sql server is putting ex exclusive log so that other user can't able to even review the report as well as even um, update anything same you have an up update log update log is preventing uh, to update anything in on particular table on particular uh, column or uh, on particular index whatever area a sql server is applying again we have a intent shared log and intent update log this again it is up applying a log to particular table or particular database so we will see one by one with um, with a demonstration as well as so we have a different kind of log uh, under uh, locking uh, the SQL server is applying a lock in uh, row ID as well as a key ID page ID it is applying and extend is a group of page it is applying a lock and table level let's say if you performing any uh, rebuilding activity or reorganized activity that is that will be in a database level or table level that time the table or database locking is in uh, applied and we have a extend log and page level log again for rebuilding or re creating index 
and the key level uh, it is for a uh, complete in uh, complete index key it is logging and it is uh, sometime it is locking to row id only so we will see how happen and how the blocking uh, is happen and how to avoid a blocking and deadlock this is the sc scenario where two session uh, in one highway uh, two cars traveling this area it is this session this uh, a is travel from here this uh, car is travel this uh, line of car is travel from here okay but this line it is holding here you can see and this line it is holding from here because this both the line is waiting for one session one session will be cleared then um, my session will go my line will be clear like that so ultimately both the line is holding each other and in this scenario what happened uh, uh, this both the session will uh, be in a queue until it will be cleared so sql server uh, engine itself come in a picture and it will clear one session and it will throw an error you are a victim like that i'll show you here how the demonstration has happened this is what the sql server throw an error and uh, uh, say ki you are a victim for this particular server the process id 5 is the victim uh, because two server at the same time is throw uh, at at the same time uh, firing a query one is dependent on second second is dependent on first like that so in this session i'll uh, give you some overview uh, here the session one uh, it is uh, applying update here in test table uh, name equal to jazz where id equal to 5 okay and here it is applying table to jazz okay where id equal to 4 the, the table is different here also it is up trying to apply on table 2 uh, say where id equal to there and uh, table 1 table where jazz where id equal to 5 here the execution will be uh, delaying to 10 seconds so once the both the execution i'll fire so first session of this will fire successfully second section so the table test is waiting for this session because this should have this should fire before that and this table 2 will wait to complete this session okay like that the blocking will happen let's see uh, real time I'm executing this immediately I'll execute this this is happen uh, in the company in a company they there we have a number of number of transaction happen at uh, one shot because our application is connecting uh, from different different surface different different app different different platform different different application okay at that time uh, what happened at at the same time number of user are connecting to our application we don't know who is connected and what uh, query he is fired so if uh, uh, two session is interdependent each other then what happened sql server sql server engine will allow one user to complete their session and it will uh, kill second session and it will throw an error you are a victim and it will give you uh, give a complete information for a victim yeah uh, in this uh, you can see we uh, have fired sp log in under sp log uh, we can get a lot of informations regarding our locking mechanism like uh, shared log update log exclusive log intent update log intent exclusive log so uh, these are all informations we can get from uh, sp log uh, you can see here there is lot of log happen and um, 
uh, so we are firing now to verify whether there is any blocking uh, with the help of this process you can get to know if any blocking is happened you can see um, this is complete without blocking I have fired now I am checking a blocking session you can see there is no any blocking so let's uh, we create a blocking session now in this session I am going to fire insertations operation already inserted so inserted I had done from a begin transaction that means um, uh, here I kept the exclusive lock so when I try to execute a select a statement while retrieving some report you can see immediately some lock is happen the lock lock uh, is locking session is uh, 65 and my session is 64 from where i uh, try to execute the query so you you can get uh, here in more detail uh, locking uh, which uh, lock is uh, created and uh, here you can see we have uh, the system created a table level log exclusive log and recent exclusive log and uh, database level exclusive log also created and uh, the the session 65 is only try to create a shared log because the shared log is for uh, uh, selection I am just uh, selecting via se session 65 so once uh, I cleared the 64 session the immediately 65 session so immediately the 64 section output will come I'll show you right away you can see here this is a shared log the the purpose of shared log is like uh, my data should be accurate and if the user is not able to do any modifications then it will be very complicated let's say if uh, i roll back from here if i roll back from here and uh, um, then the data if i retrieve from there then the data should not be ma mismatched for that reason it lock here so once the uh, activity is completed then it will release the log still now it is there so I am uh, let's say my activity is completed I am putting commit my activity is done today so I am fire a commit statement so immediately you can see this session this session is completed and you can able to retrieve a record from here as well this is what uh, SQL Server maintaining the accuracy it will not allow duplications if let's say if that activity is rolled back or, or it, it, this that activity is not done and uh, some crashes happen then if uh, this select the statement is fired before that activity and it will retrieve then it will be like a, a duplication to avoid such a kind of duplication it create a different type of lock locking mechanism mechanism introduced by sql server Thank you so much. I believe this session is really helpful for you. We will meet on next uh, interesting topic.